Okay. Item 10C, adopt a resolution ratifying the city manager's proclamation of existence of a local emergency and ratifying the city manager's immediate uh, expenditure of public money to respond to the emergency. City manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the city council. As you're aware, uh, the, this building, our uh, beloved senior center, suffered a uh, uh, difficult uh, injury uh, when a truck crashed into the back part of this, the room that we're sitting in tonight, um, and damaged, made significant damage to the stage area of this main assembly room. Uh, immediately upon the accident occurring, uh, city staff engaged the services of a competent uh, construction company to provide limited necessary immediate repairs and shoring of the facility and securing of the facility in order to deal with the immediate um, damage. Subsequently, um, staff has been engaged in uh, conversations with our insurance carrier as well as with the construction company and uh, structural engineering expertise in order to plan and implement the next steps to expediently restore the building to its operational capacity. I'll mention that in the meantime, uh, we were also able to immediately secure alternative locations for the many and various programs that are operated at the senior center on an everyday basis in order to avoid disruption to the important programs and services that are conducted by the city and for which the city for which this building is absolutely uh, necessary. Uh, those temporary facilities, uh, the programs are operating successfully in those temporary facilities and uh, we are currently uh, secure with those uh, alternative locations through the end of summer, uh, just prior to when school starts, when we will need to make uh, additional alternative arrangements. The declaration of emergency in front of you tonight allows staff uh, under my authority to, make, uh, to take those actions that are reasonably necessary in order to address the expedient restoration of this building. Um, the City Council is aware, because we've done this before, um, that the City Manager is the Director of Emergency Services, has the ability to declare an emergency, and that uh, emergency declaration needs to be ratified by the City Council within seven days of it having been made by the City Manager, and um, it needs to be reviewed uh, uh, periodically after, this, after the City Council's in this initial action. In this case, the resolution that's in front of you tonight um, uh, uh, identifies that your next uh, visit or next review of the emergency proclamation will occur at your next regularly scheduled meeting, which is on July 25th. At that time, as allowed by law, uh, we will propose that you subsequently review and take uh, additional action on the emergency proclamation at 30-day intervals um, until the emergency conditions have been resolved. It is our intent uh, to move forward, as I said, expediently with repair of the facility uh, under the emergency proclamation. The city is allowed to dispense with the normal competitive bidding requirements under state law. Uh, that will save us time, and we are in the process of working with the construction contractor to identify the necessary repairs and to obtain a price proposal that then uh, we could, uh, working together with the insurance provider, evaluate for reasonableness and um, implement quickly so that we can begin repairs. I would caution that uh, it will take some time still before we can initiate actual construction activities. 
it's necessary first to review and revise the building plans, bring them up to code, uh, current codes. This building is over 30 years old now. Uh, those plans are over 30 years old, um, but we will be working uh, with our structural engineer to review and revise them, uh, after which they'll be reviewed and approved by our building department as any other building project in the city is. And then subsequently, uh, we'll work to uh, initiate construction activities. At this point, I don't have a precise timeline estimate, but again, we'll be updating the city council again on the 25th of July and then subsequently at 30 day intervals. So you will, you will stay well informed about our progress. And again, it's our intent to move this forward as quickly as possible so that we can get our senior citizens and their programs back into their home. Be happy to answer any questions and our acting city attorney uh, is available to do a petition. I, there's only, I, I only have one um, uh, uh, point to add is that um, under the protocol um, under state law that you have the power to terminate the emergency at a future date after you're satisfied that it's passed. All right, thank you. Any questions for a uh, city manager or city attorney? Marty? Oh, I, I don't have a question. I just want to congratulate and, and well, congratulate the staff for making the arrangements so seniors don't lose their activities and for, I know they have the lunch nutrition program running, up and running, which is very important to a lot of people. So I congratulate you for doing that. Just on, on that item, if I might uh, make an additional comment, I was a little bit remiss. I know we, we mentioned this to the City Council before, and I would just like to acknowledge uh, the great and immediate cooperation that we received from St. Robert's Church in making those arrangements, and the lunch program is being very successfully conducted in their uh, Hennessy Hall facility that is adequately large and has the necessary amenities to make that a comfortable uh, a temporary location for that important program. Great. Um, Marty, you had something? Um, I wonder if you can explain uh, for the public or to the public about the cost, how, how the insurance worked out and, and just start with that part of it. So at this point, there's very little to report, except to say that uh, the costs for the immediate work to secure and stabilize, assure, and um, uh, complete the immediate necessary uh, security and other repairs, uh, including th that activity, uh, structural engineering evaluation, um, and the construction as well as um, any costs associated with relocation of programs and activities. In short, any and all costs necessarily occur incurred by the city in order to um, deal with this emergency and to put this building back into its previous operation uh, will be covered by, our, by the city's insurance uh, with a $5,000 deductible requirement, which will be the city's cost. What that, will, what that will include under the uh, California Building Code is any necessary additional improvements associated with a, um, Americans with Disability Act requirements. Um, any new construction in the city and any uh, renovation type construction in the city subject to the formula in the Building Code is required to do similarly. So we anticipate that there may be some um, smallish additional ADA improvements that are necessary as part of that reconstruction. Um, uh, and, and again, I mentioned that uh, any of the costs that the city incurs associated with its programs uh, will be covered by the um, insurance. Right, and, and any additional improvements would have to be paid by the city. So there's two issues. Um, any, uh, so, so taking the example of uh, damage to one's personal residence, let's say a fire or something that damages a portion of the house, and a, a homeowner might 
reasonably look at uh, the need to be doing uh, reconstruction activity that was unexpected and say, well, let's uh, remodel the kitchen at the same time. Um, uh, certainly the city could take a similar action um, and what you might imagine, and uh, if anybody who has experienced that kind of situation knows that uh, such activity would incur out-of-pocket costs for the owner, in that case us, insurance will not cover anything that didn't previously exist and isn't necessary to put the building back into its original condition, original pre-accident condition. Um, and in addition, so that's the first issue, it would cost the city um, out of its pocket. And secondly, um, time would be incurred as we do not currently have any immediate uh, uh, plans or um, uh, um, any, any additional um, work that would contribute to expediting doing something additional at this point in time. So if, if we were to want to add on to that project, certainly we could do it. Uh, we would need to be mindful both of cost and time associated with that. And in, in assessing what the needs are, we would be contacting the advisory committee. How would that, how would um, our group get involved in, in, in making that request? Is that something that we're going to formally allow or, or how? I'm guessing there probably is a wish list for this building. It is 30 plus years old. And the kitchen is how many years old? 30? No. Same. No. Kitchen was built with the with the center. Right, right, right. So I didn't know if there was a remodel, but generally, you know, things need to get replaced and it seemed like the time to do it would be when we're demoing out that side. But I just wanted to bring that up. Um, I'm a little concerned about the wording here of allowing this to, to, to be rebuilt, but if you can help explain or help me understand that we're going to have checks every month after this next meeting on the 27th to, 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 to hear the progress and the costs and how things are going. So um, I may need to ask the uh, acting city attorney to, to fill in. In, in general terms, the, the city's subsequent action is to extend or not uh, the continuing or to uh, act to um, uh, determine that the emergency condition is continuing. So uh, staff is committing to provide an update um, as part of that scheduled stop with the city council. Um, the to to respond to your previous issue about additional uh, work uh, associated with the with the project, um, if the city council were to direct, I just I just want to make sure that it's clear that uh, the direction that we're proceeding with right now is focused on getting the building back into operation as quickly as possible, and uh, we're working on the game plan as I previously outlined in order to accomplish that. If it is the interest of the city council to uh, take some time to evaluate whether there are uh, building improvements that we might otherwise make, and in particular building improvements that are not already envisioned in our capital budget and that will be completed um, according to the schedule outlined in the, in the capital budget, we can certainly do so. I would just point out again that um, time may be an issue that we would want to consider. So we have no plans at this point, unless directed by the city council, to reach out to evaluate what additional work we might do associated with the, with the renovation of the damaged portion of the building. I, I think that it's a good question. I think um, the, the uh, resolution that you have before you tonight is talking about the the um, declaration of emergency and dealing with the impacts of the emergency so I would want to make sure I'd work with staff and, and Mark to make sure that any enhancements um, we can tie that to the emergency um, so there may be an issue that we have to 
make sure that a new project is um, sufficiently tied to the emergency so that we're following the law on, on contracting. Um, and then the, the second thing, it relates to your earlier question, uh, Councilman uh, Medina, um, the, on the insurance. Um, we have our own insurance, um, and then the, the truck driver, the company of the, of the truck also has insurance, so our carrier is going to seek um, reimbursement to cover their costs. So it should have a, a that should mitigate any impact on the, the rates uh, related to the city and um, the ABAG, I think it's ABAG plan. So our, our uh, risk pooling for, for the for coverage of these types of risks. And last, uh, lastly, the, the contractor, the, na the name, um, have we checked on their resource, are their um, uh, recommendations or checked out, do they have any complaints with the uh, licensing board? Who, who are these people? And, and just to kind of help everybody understand who, who they are and who's checked them out. So the work that they've done so far was uh, based on a phone call that they received from us uh, night of the accident when we needed urgently to obtain services that would evaluate the building and, and secure it. Um, that work has been done, and at this point, the next phase of that work is demolition of the damaged portion of the building and remediation of some um, uh, petroleum product um, spilled that was a result of the of the crash by uh, uh, came from the truck that crashed into the building. Um, we can uh, the the staff I would uh, mention has been extremely satisfied. Uh, probably received more compliments about the work and the responsiveness of uh, the company that. Um, did the work uh, that I've ever heard about a construction company doing business in the city before. Um, we can certainly do some additional work to check them out. They're a reputable, established uh, construction contractor, general, general construction contractor. Uh, we can certainly do some additional uh, work to check out their qualifications, background, and experience. Um, as part of the work that we do to put them under contract to complete the next phase of work, which is demolition of the building, of and the building, of the damaged part of the portion of the building. And their, and their name? Uh, Balfour Construction Company. B-A-L. F-O-U-R. And they're based out of? I don't know the answer to that. Thank you. Any other questions for staff or action on this item? I'll introduce the resolution. Councilmember O'Connell? Aye. Councilmember Marty Medina? Aye. Councilmember Rico Medina? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye. 